Hi, I'm Ehor Cherishak, and uh, sorry I can't be there with you today for the Klein meeting, but uh, I thought that the best thing I could do would be to uh, talk to you in this format and uh, begin to share what we're trying to do as a vision for the new Klein uh, initiative that we, we hope to start uh, right now. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the organization. Council for Technology and Math Education has been around now 20 years. So one, one of our goals and mission is to find cre interesting and creative ways to use the technology to not only help children learn mathematics, but to empower them so that they can see that this is a very exciting way to learn and uh, empower them to go on and, and in future careers. So um, when I was at St. Louis last year I was very disappointed to find that there were no more computer labs, which not so much that we needed more computer labs, but it was a clear message that uh, maybe NCTM wasn't supporting technology the way it ought to, and of course the technology principle uh, in, the year, in, the, in the last standards in 2000 was one of the highlights uh, for Klein because in a sense, we came from being uh, uh, trying to get recognition for technology to the point where now it was one of the main principles uh, that one should use it in these kinds of more enlightened ways. But with the dropping of the computer technology, there seems to be a void. And that's why for this conference, uh, I was asking the question, which you'll find on our website, which is, uh, uh, is technology actually uh, a no-show here in Atlanta. Has anything, uh, is there anything going on to promote technology in any kind of meaningful ways? And one of the things that I tried to do uh, was to contact the program chair uh, in, in uh, Salt Lake City for the 2008 meeting because I knew Atlanta was already a done deal. Uh, so I wrote a letter to Skip Fennell and also the program chair for the meeting. And uh, <clears throat> Skip was very uh, supportive. Uh, he thought we should come up with some kind of new idea on how to take advantage of wireless uh, technology, laptops, uh, uh, and show people and showcase very effective ways of using because so many folks have not seen this other than through the uh, eyes of uh, the commercial vendors who, who promote it. Uh, not quite the way uh, we might do it. So I wrote these two letters and uh, they're on our, my blog, and you can download them. Uh, David, I hope, has copies uh, to give out for you. But kind of summarize uh, uh, what, what uh, we're trying to do as an organization and try to promote technology in a special way. So I guess the, the question, the essential question, uh, that sort of is a theme for me, if I was there, uh, I would constantly be asking it, uh, what is Klein, I'm sorry, what is, what is NCTM doing to promote the technology principle and uh, to help uh, folks in terms of uh, providing the kinds of environments and the kinds of activities within conferences and any venues uh, that do that, uh, that in a sense integrated with the math. So it's sort of like the math illuminating the technology and technology illuminating the math, or actually the latter is, is what we're about. So I leave you with that thought, and I, I hope to continue this via blog and others to set a kind of a grassroots effort to see if we can uh, get some response, because as I said, I submitted these letters, but uh, got no response. So I figured, why not publicly make these letters available? Uh, to everyone. So let me know what you think. I'm going to be around uh, on Tapped In, I hope, if all the technology and David was able uh, to get that all to work. And hopefully uh, the next time we meet, we'll, we'll do it in an in even more uh, empowering way. So thank you for listening, and I, and I hope you have a great conference.